This is a video on how to adjust or put the bridge on your violin. I'm going to address your first question here. This is my disco violin and I'm using it in this video because you can put some scratches on your violin if you mess with the bridge too much and you're not doing it correctly. But this violin has armor, so I feel very comfortable demonstrating how to adjust and attach the bridge on this violin. So if you've ordered your instrument online, oftentimes the bridge will not be attached to the instrument when it arrives. They do that to protect the instrument, so it's ultimately a good thing. In order to attach the bridge, you need to have your strings put on. If you don't know how to do that, I have a video. And once you have your strings on, you'll want to wind the pegs so that the strings are somewhat tight. You'll see that there's not a ton of give here, but it's enough that I can work with it. So ordinarily, I would put the instrument on my lap, but to show you, I'm just gonna keep it on the floor. So you first need to identify which way the bridge goes. If it has a little label, that'll usually be facing towards you when you're playing the instrument. If not, you can see that the side where the G string would go is just just a little bit higher than the E string side. Notice that there are grooves on your bridge. These are where the strings are gonna go. And one last thing, it's a little difficult to see on this instrument, but there are little notches here in the F holes. Your bridge is going to go between those notches. So go ahead and put the bridge under the strings. You can start lining the strings up with the grooves. Push upwards with the bridge and there should be enough give in the strings that you can do this easily. And then put the feet of the bridge, which are these, these are the feet, flat on the body of the instrument. And then before you have it totally secure, try to make sure that the bridge is going parallel to the fingerboard. And then very, very slightly pull the bridge towards you and then make sure that the feet of the bridge are flat on the body of the instrument. So your bridge is basically on and what you're gonna do from here is wind up the pegs and adjust the bridge. As you tune your instrument, the tuning pegs will pull the bridge this way so then it will become tilted. So after a while of playing, your bridge might start to look like that and that means you need to adjust it. So to adjust your bridge, I like to have it facing this way while it's on my lap and you take your thumbs on both hands and you support both sides of the bridge and maybe put some fingers down on the actual body of the instrument and I want to push the bridge this way since it's tilting this way so with this thumb I'll push the bridge and provide counterbalance with the opposite thumb. If we don't provide counterbalance with the opposite thumb there's a slight chance that as I'm pushing the bridge this way that it might just snap. So by providing just a little bit of support with the opposite thumb we avoid doing that. So I'll go ahead and just push it that way. And once the feet of the bridge are flat on the body of the instrument, that's when your bridge no longer needs adjusting. So if you've just put your bridge on, you'll need to do this a few times. So if you go to the pegs and you start tuning them up, you'll see that just a little bit of tuning has already tilted my bridge. So I need to take the sides with both thumbs and very slowly, very gently, push it back into place. Try not to rest your hand on the tail piece here. Avoid putting pressure on the strings as much as you can as well, and just push it back into place. You might notice that after you tune your instrument that the bridge begins moving out of place. So sometimes what you can do is you can very slightly overcorrect the bridge. So I've just moved it that way. And then when I use the tuning pegs, that's going to bring the bridge back into alignment. And that's about all there is to that. If you're worried about the bridge snapping down onto the body of the instrument, you can place a little bit of fabric on either side of the bridge just to provide a little bit of cushion and prevent any scratches on the body of the instrument from not handling the bridge correctly. And be sure every once in a while to check and make sure that your bridge is still perpendicular to the body. So there it is. I'll try to answer any questions I see in the comments. Hope this helped. Bye!